issues continue in downtown Lafayette since the closure of the Buchanan Street parking garage. In some spots, street parking is limited, and now one business owner says the lack of parking is impacting his business. Chris Balsey joins us live, getting answers from LCG on what they're doing to free up the spots. Chris. The mayor president's office says when the Buchanan Street garage closed, those who had parking permits were allowed to park at meters along the street. Now the city is looking to free up those spots, but that response still isn't sitting well with one downtown business owner. When can you have a business and not have parking areas in the front? James Bertrand, owner of Bertrand Bonding and Private Investigation, is fed up with the lack of parking downtown. There are several spots in front of his business, but he says those with city-issued parking tags are taking up the metered spots typically used by his customers. The minute the judge calls your name at 9 o'clock and you're not there, they put out a warrant for your arrest. And then what's going on? Well, I couldn't find a, a parking place, Your Honor. That's not my problem. Nine o'clock's my problem. You're supposed to be here at nine. So the fellow's got to get up at six and try to find a parking area. The city is working to move those with permits into the Vermilion Street parking garage and shuttle them to their offices. According to LCG, the only people who will be given street parking passes are court reporters who have equipment they have to take into the courthouse. Bertrand says improvements need to happen quicker before his business is impacted even more. My clients can't come in. They got to park four blocks away. LCG says there are nearly 200 empty parking spots per day in the Vermilion Street parking garage. KATC is still working to get answers on how many parking permits have been issued in downtown and who they were given to. In Lafayette, Chris Welty, KATC TV3. District Attorney Keith Stutes will not be seeking re-election next year. That's according to our partners at The Advocate. Stutes was a